Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord would have me come on to encourage someone this morning um, to <clears throat> hope and trust in God. I'm reading this morning from Psalms 18. I'm in my car it's still night. <laughs> it's not night, it's morning, but it's dark out here. But um forgive the glasses. Yes, I'm of a <clears throat> particular age, so I need my reading glasses. Um for this is Psalms 18, and this is from the Tree of Life version. Psalms 18. The mu uh, for the music director, a psalm of David, the servant of Adoniah. He charted, he chanted the words, I have to turn the light on. He chanted the words of this song of Adoniah on the day Ananiah delivered him from the hand of his all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. He said, I love you, Adoniah, my strength. Adoniah is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in him I take refuge, my shield, my horn of salvation, my stronghold. I called upon Ananiah, worthy of praise, and I was rescued from my enemies. Cords of death entangled me. And that could be the enemy within, the enemy talking to your mind, depression, anxiety, fear, whatever it is. Um, or it could be outside. Um, enemy Satan that uh, say, that Satan is using because we wrestle not against flesh and blood but principalities rulers of the darkness spiritual wickedness in high places they're unseen enemies but Satan is real he uses people so it could be either or <clears throat> cords of death entangled me and again that's those enemies within or around you and it feels like death Torrents of Balaam overwhelmed me. Cords of Sheol coiled around me. Snares of death came before me. In my distress, I called on Ananiah and cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry before him came into his ears. God hears our cries. No matter how long it takes, keep praying. God hears us. You know, it's been many situations I've been in and I'm like, when is this thing going to end? And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, suddenly happens and it ends or it just ends slowly, but it ends because I didn't give up. I, I just kept speaking it out loud in my house, in my car, out in the street. Um, I just kept speaking those words that um, whatever scripture he gave me, when you get a word from the Lord, that's it. That settles it. He will bring it to pass. And uh, whatever he doesn't bring to pass is a lesson in it for us to learn to not do it again or to grow from it. But God is faithful. And um, I cried for help. And this is um, verse um, 7. In my distress, I called on Ananias and cried to my God for help from his temple. He heard my voice. My cry before him came into his ears. They came into his ears. Our cry when we pray, it comes to God's ears. Then the earth rocked and quaked. The foundations of mountains trembled. They reeled because he was angry. Smoke rose from his nostrils because he cares about answering our prayers and when we are in torment from the enemy. Uh, the, and, uh, and consuming fire from his mouth. Coals blazed from him. He parted the heavens and came down. With thick darkness under his feet, he rode upon a cheruv, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, it's spelled C-H-E-R-U-V, and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his cover. His sukkah all around him, dark waters, thick clouds. Out of the brilliance before him passed his thick clouds hail and fiery coals Adonijah also thundered in the heavens and Elion gave forth his voice that's God giving forth his voice hail and fiery coals he shot his arrows and scattered them he scattered the enemy he shot his arrows back he answered our prayers he um, scattered the enemy for us whether it be within 
you don't you don't have that um fighting within anymore or without he answered our prayers um he hurled lightning bolts and routed them then ravenous then ravings of water appeared the foundations of earth were exposed at your rebuke adonaiah at a blast of breath from your nostrils he reached down from on high and took hold of me he drew me out of mighty waters he saved me from my powerful enemy from those who hated me for they were much stronger than me they came against me in my day of calamity but adonaiah was my support and I'm going to stop there. That's at verse uh, 19. He saved me from my powerful enemy. That's 18. From those who hated me. For they were much stronger than me. Sometimes those enemies within. Those enemies within or around you. Seem stronger than you can bear. But. Believe God trust God like I said earlier um, I've been in many situations and it didn't look like I would the Lord would bring me out but he did because of my honesty my transparency with God I tell God everything I may not speak it out loud but inside I'm telling him how I feel what I want what I desire um, I tell him what hurts me my feelings inside and he hears my prayer those are prayers whether you pray out loud or you pray within, he hears those prayers. And be encouraged today that he loves you and those enemies within will have to shatter once we give it to God. He is our rock. There's nobody like God. Nobody like God, Jehovah. Like uh, Judy Jacobs sings. I love that song. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. But yeah, there's no God like Jehovah. So be encouraged today. And let us pray, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, again, this is the day you have made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And Lord, cover our day in the blood. Bless our coming and going. Give us traveling mercies, whether by car, parked, walking, on the bus, in a plane, on a train, Lord God. In our home, Lord God, because anything can happen anywhere in a store, Lord God. Cover us in your blood, Lord God. Give us traveling mercies, Lord God. And I take authority over the devil. I cancel the assignment of Satan that will come up against anyone's mind, their emotions, any attacks on their job, in their home, and wherever they live, Father God, wherever they're going, Father God, during these holiday seasons, Lord God. I take authority over the devil um, <clears throat> that will make them feel depressed or oppressed because a lot of them lost loved ones, Father God. They don't have their families there. Um, Lord God, so I ask that you comfort them, Father God. The Bible says the Holy Spirit is our comforter. Once we give our heart to him, to the Lord, he comforts us. And that's who we talk to. We talk to him on his behalf. It's the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit immediately comes in us and he becomes our comforter. And we pray to God the Father in Jesus' name. They're all three in one. And the Holy Ghost is that power of God. So be encouraged today. Know you could talk to him about anything. And he loves you. And Lord God, I answer this prayer. We touch and agree. Give him peace during these holiday season. During this holiday season, give him peace and comfort. In Jesus' matchless name, God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed and amazing day and week and holiday season. Until we meet again, bye-bye.